Hey, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint for iOS and Android devices is a mobile threat defense platform. Most organizations agree that Windows devices require some form of antivirus or anti-malware solution in order to be considered secure. But very few organizations consider iOS and Android as a platform that requires protection. While iOS and Android are typically more closed platforms, they're still vulnerable to attacks from web-based sources, for example. This video is sponsored by Recast Software. They're the creators of the awesome right-click tools Shift Left for ServiceNow and now a product called Endpoint Insights. Check out recastsoftware.com for more information on that. If you'd prefer to read this as a blog, it's covered in my Petri article that I've just released. Let's take a look at the steps we can take to connect Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and Microsoft Endpoint Manager and enable compliance data sharing between the two platforms. Once we've done that, we'll deploy Defender for Endpoint as an application to the iOS device and configure it for zero touch onboarding. Let's jump into my lab and take a look. So we start off at the security.microsoft.com portal and here we need to enable the connection between Intune and Defender for Endpoint. That's done in settings. Let's head down to settings. From here, we're going to go over to endpoints and down to advanced features. From here, we're looking for the Microsoft Intune connector. There it is. We'll just turn that on and then save. This only takes a second really to enable that connectivity. When we head over to the Endpoint Manager portal, you'll see the connectivity is already done. So over to the Endpoint Manager portal and then down to Endpoint Security. From here, we're just going to scroll all the way down to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint in the Setup category. And then from here, we've got this connectivity between Defender for Endpoint and Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So we'll scroll down and we need to do some connectivity for the compliant policy settings. I'm going to enable Android and iOS and then choose save. Okay, that's all done. Next thing we need to do is just deploy the application to the device itself. So over to apps, iOS, iPadOS, add, and the app type is going to be an iOS store app, and we'll choose select. Just going to search the app store for Microsoft Defender, and then from here, simply choose Microsoft Defender, and then select. As you can see, it's pre-filled all of this information for us. The only thing I want to change is that the minimum operating system is iOS 12. Other than that, we're good to go. We'll choose next. And I need to deploy this to a group of users. I have a group already pre-filled, which is called Defender for Endpoint Users Mobile. I'll do that, choose Next, and Create. That will go off and deploy that application to my device. We'll jump over to the device in just a second, but before we do that, I need to make a couple of extra changes. We're going to go to Devices, down to iOS, and then Configuration Profiles. Now in here, you'll see in the blog post that I put forward on Petri.com, you can enable zero touch onboarding for iOS devices with a simple configuration profile. So we'll just choose create profile and then templates. And this needs to be a VPN. So we'll choose VPN and choose create. And I'm going to call this the Microsoft Defender for endpoint zero touch onboarding choose next and the connection type is going to be one of these VPNs right at the bottom we got custom VPN we'll choose that and next and then just have to jump into base VPN and we're going to give give it a name and, and fill in the other details I'm just going to grab them from my blog post though just give me a few seconds to fill these in In the custom attributes, we need to do silent on board and set that to true. And that's that. Great. So down to automatic VPN, we're going to create a on-demand VPN. And then we need to add an on-demand rule. 
So we'll choose add and in the action we need to establish a VPN and restrict that to all domains. Really simple. Choose save and then down to next. Again, need to deploy this to my Defender for Endpoint Mobile Users Group. Choose that, select, and next. And then we'll give that a few seconds to deploy. All right, let's just head over to this device and see what we've got. So this is a, an Enroll device. I'm just going to choose to uh, check the status on this and get it confirming all the details. Hopefully it'll be offering us an application and, and perhaps a VPN in a few seconds. Ah, there we go. We've got this Microsoft Defender app. Because this isn't a, this is not a supervised device, it's uh, it's going to ask us to confirm every installation. So let's give it a second to do that. Awesome. Okay. In the meantime, uh, let's see what we get. It's done already. So let's just choose Defender. Just ask me to sign in as Martin and agree to the terms of use. Okay, well that's done. There's a VPN at the top there, I'm not sure if you can see that at the top of the screen. We'll just go into settings and see what it's created for us. Got a VPN which is on, so that's great. Over to general and down to VPN. And you can see this VPN that we've got created. Jump into that and that's the settings that we set on uh, earlier on. So that's pretty awesome. Well, that was pretty easy. That's all I've got to show you. See you next time.